Freaky OS is now officially available for Redmi Y2. Freaky OS is one of the best ROM that's available for Redmi Y2. So going to about phone section, here as you can see Android version is 10, device name is YSL and the maintainer of this build is Amitacharya. Speaking about kernel version, kernel version is 4.9 and AC Linux status is permissive. Going back, all the basic functionalities like calling mobile data and hotspot are working fine. So let us try and connect a call. So as you can see, call just connected. Now going back, speaking about security, in this ROM, you get fingerprint scanner, face unlock and general security features. Going back, going to graveyard, here's where you'll find exclusive features of this ROM. Going to status bar. Here you get an option to show 4G icon in place of LTE. You also get to enable roaming indicator when you're in roaming. Going to quick settings. Here you can replace with oxygen OS button. You also have option to blur behind quick settings. So now when you take your notification panel down, as you can see there's a blur effect. If you turn it off, there's no blur effect. Going to QS style tint. You can change it, tint QS styles with color accent or you can just leave it normal. Normal ones look like this and when you enable it, these look something like this. So you also get an header image which you can set it. This feature is generally provided in every ROM. Now going to hardware buttons. Here you get to customize volume rockers. Here you get an option to change tracks while your screen is off by pressing on volume rockers or you can even wake your device using your volume rocker. Going back, you also have an additional feature to disable accidental touch. Going to lock screen, here you get pocket detection, fingerprint unlock and charging info. Speaking about charging info, if you enable it while charging, you can see max current voltage and battery temperature. Here you get an option to unlock your device once your device is rebooted. If you enable it, even after a reboot, it will take your fingerprint. Going back, going to notifications. Here you get an option to show notification headers, R style notification. You also get to disable smart replies and you get ambient display. This is basically edge lighting and you can customize its color. Going to power menu. Here you get all general options that other ROMs provide you. There is no special option. Once you trigger power menu, it looks something like this. You get lockdown option, restart option and power off option. Going to restart, you can also select between recovery, bootloader and system. To enable recovery, restart and bootloader, you will make sure enable advanced restart option is turned on. Going back. Going to gestures, here you get general three finger swipe screenshot. Going to miscellaneous, here you don't get any interesting options. Now going back to main settings, speaking about battery and performance, performance on this ROM is really good and you can use it as a daily driver. And speaking about battery, battery is literally insane and I got about 8 hours of screen on time. For a 3000 mAh battery, it's really like a miracle. Now going to system, you also get an updater. Once you click this, you can update your device. Currently, your device is up to date. Going back, speaking about launcher, you get pixel experience launcher. You get all the general stuff that's provided in this launcher. Now going to styles and wallpaper, here you get all the general wallpapers provided in pixel experience. Speaking about style, you can change style according to your reference. I have created a custom style. Going to clock, these are all the options provided. 
Currently, I am using clock type center. This is one of my favorite clock style. You can comment down which is your favorite. So if you want to install this ROM on your device, make sure that you download a file that I'll provide in description. Once you download custom ROM file, you will need to download gapps. Now reboot to recovery. Once you are in your recovery, go to wipe and wipe Dalby cache system and data. Once you select all the partitions, swipe and wipe. Now go to files or you can just select install if you are using any other recovery and navigate to the file. So this is the file that you will need to download and it's freaky OS version X YSL. Once you find the file, flash it. Once done, go back and flash G apps. Then reboot, you'll be rebooted to your system running freaky OS. So that's it for today guys. If you enjoyed the video, do like, share and subscribe for more updates.